Whoa! What's your rush, Marcus? <coughs> Sorry, Buford. Uh, I'm running a little late. Class is about to start. What you got in the jar? Uh, oh, uh, it's a dragonfly. Uh, we're doing a class project on invertebrates. Uh, bugs, actually. That's not a healthy-looking dragonfly, son. <coughs> uh, I know. I, I think he might be... <coughs> uh, he might be... Deceased. <coughs> you don't sound so good yourself. Did you maybe catch a bug from the bug? <laughs> I don't think so. <coughs> There's just a strange smell. <coughs> what is that? That'd be me. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. You know, after 12 hours uh, of cleaning toilets uh, and collecting abandoned sweat socks, sometimes uh, you pick up the odd unwanted odor. I can imagine. So I invented my own personal industrial strength cologne. <coughs> Know what I'm gonna call it? <laughs> Overwhelming? Oh, de cochon. Or maybe Buford number five, or four <laughs> sign obsession. You know, something classy like that. With this stuff, I think there's even a chance Ms. Demeanor might finally notice me. <laughs> She'll notice, all right. <coughs> I gotta go, Buford. <sighs> all right. Yeah. What you got there, son? A bag of flies? <coughs> What's that smell? <gasps> hey! <coughs> Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Who'd like to tell us a little about their bug? Or bugs? Oh, yeah. 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 I brought a bag of flies, but Buford the janitor stole them. Oh, dear. I brought a cockroach. Cockroaches are generally found in uh, uh, my kitchen. Disgusting. I brought mosquitoes. I brought an ant farm, Mrs. Snodgrass. Disgusting. I brought a spider. Her name is Sylvia. Ah! Keep that away from me! It's disgusting, and I'll bet it's poisonous, too. All spiders have venom, but very few are poisonous to humans. Keep it away! Sylvia's harmless. She's not that big. See? Uh, I brought a dragonfly. I named him Dirk. I, I think maybe he's dead. Dirk the dead dragonfly? <laughs> That's a great name, Marcus. <laughs> and what bug have you brought, Ruby? I brought a cocoon. I like it because it doesn't move around or do anything like all the other bugs. A cocoon isn't actually a bug, Ruby. It is the temporary covering in which a caterpillar wraps itself. Caterpillar? Yes, <laughs> and then the caterpillar later emerges from the cocoon as a lovely butterfly. Butterfly? Ruby, you don't even like butterflies? I don't like any bugs! Ignorant child. She has no appreciation for the beauty and majesty of the bug. Ah. Bugs, Raticus, are man's best friend. Hey, I thought rats were man's best friend. Don't be ridiculous. Observe. <laughs> this was my green hornet, Hornicus, my first pet. But, Phantom, I thought I was your first pet. Ha! Hornicus was also my one and only all-time best friend. But I thought I was your best friend. Ha! Hornicus saved my life! I was being terrorized by the biggest, meanest bully the school had ever known. If Hornicus hadn't come to my defense, if Hornicus hadn't stung that huge, terrible, vicious bully, who knows what she would have done to me? She? <laughs> she was huge and terrible! Even so, Phantom. But when Hornicus stung her, that big girl, she... She... She squished him! <laughs> I mean, my deepest condolences, Phantom. But Hornicus did not die. Before he took his last breath, I rushed him to my laboratory and froze him. Then I placed him into a cryogenic chamber. 
Why would you want to freeze a bug, Phantom? Because one day, after I have overcome an unfortunate case of evil genius creator's block that's been preventing me from perfecting the regeneration process, one day I will revive Hardicus and I will be reunited with my first pet and my best friend. <laughs> oh, how nice for you. Who can tell us what bugs are good for? Bees make honey. Spiders catch harmful insects. Ants are good with chocolate on them. Fred's quite right. Chocolate-covered ants are considered a delicacy in some countries. What else are bugs good for, Ruby? They're good for squishing. Squishing? You're prejudiced, Ruby. I'm not prejudiced. I'm just filled with hatred for bugs, that's all. Often when we don't like something, it means that maybe we're just a little bit afraid. I'm not afraid of bugs. Why would I be afraid of bugs? I'm way bigger than any... Bug! <gasps> Bug! Yeah! 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 <gasps> ah! Yeah! Oh, Sylvia, it's all right. Ah! Ruby, why were you trying to hurt Sylvia? I wasn't trying to hurt her. I was trying to squish her! What gives you the right to squish her? Because I'm bigger! <gasps> because I'm bigger! I'm bigger! I'm bigger! I'm bigger! I'm bigger! What did she say? Just because you're bigger doesn't mean you can go around squishing living things, Ruby. I know you may be afraid, but... I'm not afraid! What are you getting all excited about anyway? It's just a bug. Just a bug?! Bugs were here 300 million years before we were, and they'll be here long after we're gone. Bugs are man's best friend. This girl needs to learn some respect. Hey! Dur Dirk isn't dead! He's waking up! He's moving! And he's getting... bigger? Sylvia's getting bigger, too! Ah! Ah! Oh, they're all getting bigger! I don't like the looks of this, Billy. Earl is up to something really weird this time. Uh, it happens every week. Something strange is happening! Excellent! This is very much how the world looks to our insect friends. A simple lawn to us is a virtual jungle to them. <laughs> 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 Invite us in for lunch. <laughs> More like they'll have us for lunch. What's that noise? It sounds like mosquitoes. Ah! Assemble in the foyer, please. <sighs> I think we lost them. Not for long. Mosquitoes hunt their prey by scent. They're especially drawn by perspiration. Where's Ruby? She was right behind me. She's all by herself. And she has a terrible perspiration problem. Go on down. I'll find Ruby. <gasps> ah, she's sweating now. Scared of a little mosquito. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it, Radicus? Did you say something? I said this is fun, isn't it? You know, terrorizing the school children. Oh, that. Well, I wouldn't know. Why don't you ask your precious hornet? 
Well, maybe I will. Go right ahead. Fine, fine, spider. Dragonfly saved us, Marcus. No, he was trying to eat me. They all want to eat me. Trust me, Ruby, he prefers mosquitoes. We've got to squish them, squish them all. Even if we wanted to, we couldn't squish them. But we could use bug spray, gallons and gallons of bug spray. We'll spray them all. <laughs> We're not gonna spray them either. If we could find the gym, at least we could outfit ourselves with some protective equipment. Uh, ants. Ants build extensive tunnels. A uh, big colony can have miles of them. I've used the mini Megamind to overlay the tunnels on my blueprints of the school, and this is our route to the gym. Brilliant, Marcus. Which way? <gasps> uh, to the left. Good. Good. I'm not coming out. Marcus and I will get some stuff from the equipment room. Lydia, stay here with Ruby. Okay. I'm not scared, you know. Is the coast clear? The coast is clear. Ugh. Told you I'm not scared. Yeah! You said the coast was clear! Sylvia. Uh. Huh? It's all right, Ruby. Sylvia's just building a web. Ruby? Out of here. Lydia. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> oh. <gasps> he wasn't so tough. She. <gasps> Mosquito eggs. Not only has a bug's size increased, their metabolism sped up greatly as well, which means these eggs are gonna hatch within minutes. Then there'll be hundreds of mosquitoes. We really could use a plan. We spray them. There's got to be bug spray somewhere. I mean, Buford must have something. You're right. Come on. to apologize for my behavior earlier. That's not necessary, Raticus. Really? You mean you understand that I was naturally a little insecure about your lasting affection for a dead hornet? And that you now realize how much you value me as a friend, pet, and <gasps> sidekick? Not at all. I mean that your little temper tantrum inspired me to overcome my evil genius creator's block. And I have finally unraveled the mysteries of regeneration. Behold, Raticus. Hornicus lives! And now he's going after those terrible children for me. Ha! Huh. Isn't he a little small for that? Oh, but he'll be bigger. He'll be bigger than all of them! <laughs> Genius on my part, don't you think, Radicus? What? Oh, yeah. Stroke of genius, yet another one. Oh, yeah. Which way to Buford's office, Marcus? Yeah, which way to the bug spray? Hold on. We could take a couple of these tunnels. Let me see which one is more direct. Hmm. Now, where did those four brats get to? Let's try an underground infrared view, shall we? Ah, ah, just as I suspected. They're hiding in the ant burrows. Well, we'll have to flush them out of there, eh, Raticus? Sure, sure. Flush away. The shortest route to Buford's office seems to be the second tunnel from the left. What's that noise? It 
sounds like. Now what's that noise? I'm not even going to ask what that noise is. Ah! It's your cocoon, Ruby. Yeah, but what's that? Uh, it's just a butterfly. Oh! A butterfly the size of a minivan. He thinks you're his mom. Oh, it's disgusting. Cut it out. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Ruby, wait! <laughs> Come on, Ruby! <laughs> that dastardly butterfly! Vicious, deadly, bloodthirsty creatures, those butterflies! <laughs> Hey, guys. Please excuse the casual apparel. I had to wash my cologne off. It had the strangest effect. Buford, uh, we're in kind of a hurry. Could we borrow some of that cologne? Sure. The biggest bottle you've got. It smells great, but I gotta warn you. It seems to... Thanks, Buford. Attract bugs. <laughs> Kids, they gotta learn for themselves. Oh! Looks like I gotta cut back this hole again. Grab on. Ruby! Bug spray? Finally! It's cologne, actually. Cologne? Trust me, it'll work. Hasta la vista, buggies! Ha! Wait a minute, they like this stuff? They're following us! That's the plan, Ruby. You want them to follow us. Just keep spraying! I knew it! The mosquitoes have started to hatch! Whoa! Marcus! I got him! Keep going to the web, Billy! Web? What web? Nobody told me anything about a web. Oh! Ah! <laughs> uh. Stay away! I've got cologne and I'm not afraid to use it! <gasps> Pick on somebody your own size! Actually, I believe your hornet is quite a bit bigger than the spider. Well, he's going to get even bigger! I guess we taught him a lesson. Only him? So maybe I learned a little something too. But you don't have to bug me about it. Huh? Okay, okay, I like you too. But enough with the licking. What's that noise? No. Oh. This is the right thing to do, isn't it, Billy? Dirk wasn't exactly thriving in that jar. I know. I'm gonna miss him, that's all. Go on, Dirk. You're free. Go on. <gasps> Ruby! 
Sylvia! <laughs> Don't even think about it, mister. Y -y 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 yes sir, ma'am, Ruby! Another one for the files of Flying Rhino. Bye.